Okay. Happy Sukkot, everyone. Now that's the mitzvah of putting the schach on the sukkah. Can you say schach? If you could say schach, usually that's a sign that you're Jewish. So happy Sukkot, everyone. We are going to shake the lulav and the esrog. This is actually not, this is the kids' one, not kosher. It's missing the willow. The myrtle branch, the lula of the palm branch, the missing the willow, and then the prize, the fruit, the most expensive fruit you will ever see, could be hundreds of dollars just for eight days, seven days. This one comes from Calabria, Italy. It's a beautiful S rogue, probably one of the most beautiful ones I've ever had. Like the Rebbe's, with a little top, you don't want to touch that because that can break and you're all, it's worth 25 cents. Shake the lula on Sunday with the S rogue and make the two blessings on it to the right, to the left, to the middle, up and down. But the sukkah starts tomorrow night or tonight, actually, Friday night, right in the sukkah. As soon as it gets dark, if you don't have a sukkah, you come to one of our sukkahs. We're having the sukkah mobile Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, different parks in Camarillo. You can go online to the Chabad, ChabadCamarillo.com and mark off the 15 minutes that you would like to visit between 3 and 5 p.m. Sukkah is the time of rejoicing. It's a special time of unity. We all come together. We celebrate family. It's hard during the pandemic, but try to make it into a sukkah to have some food, to schmooze, to enjoy someone's company in a safe manner this year. Try to shake the lulav starting this coming Sunday. I wish you a, a wonderful sukkah. The message of the four kinds of the, the citron smells and tastes good. The, the, the myrtle branch smells good. The palm has the dates that taste good, and the willow has neither taste and smell. They represent four types of Jews. One that keeps the commandments and learns the Torah, the smell and taste. One that only learns, only smell, only tastes, only smells good, only, only, only does the mitzvahs, but doesn't learn. And then you have the one, the willow, that doesn't either. We all come together as unity and unite together, make the blessing. Jews all need to be together regardless who you are. And that's the same idea of the sukkah. You sit under the sukkah, you're all under one, one roof together as one and in the protection looking through and seeing the stars watching God protecting us so remember at this time it's a mitzvah to rejoice that means we have every ability and capability to rejoice this holiday that's why it's a mitzvah an additional lesson from sukkah is when you eat in the sukkah when you read in the sukkah it all becomes part of the mitzvah the idea mitzvahs are not just in the synagogue mitzvahs are not just when you're praying when you're eating when you're doing your regular activities you can make it holy. And that's what Sukkot tells us. Let's make every part of our life, more of our life, into holy times by using our business for being uh, good with your employees that are with you or people that are with you and elevating every part of our life. That's the idea of Sukkot. And actually, Sukkot is a very special time to pray for the nations of the world. As Jews, we pray for all people, especially on the holiday of Sukkot. There were special sacrifices brought in the temple for all the nations. So we pray for peace for all people, especially on the holiday of Sukkot. Very special thing. And we say a prayer. May the compassionate one erect this, the Sukkah of King David that fell. King David representing the son of King David, the descendant of King David, which we call Mashiach. The special leader of the Jewish people will bring peace to all mankind. Don't forget, light the Shabbat and holiday candles today at 6.20 Camarillo time, tomorrow night after dark from an existing flame. Have a Shabbat Shalom and happy Sukkot.